guys, so welcome to the third day of the uh, sports exhaust overhaul. So it was quite a quite a busy full-on day yesterday. As I showed you, I got the, the first silencer out. Um, it was going pretty well, uh, but then I snapped a couple of bolts. I have three snap bolts so far, two on the on the rear support for the catalytic converters, which is slightly easier to get to. Uh, but also one on the driver's side bracket, silencer bracket, which fits the engine. So there's a snap bolt in the engine block, which is really annoying. Um, so other than that, I also found out that the, the brackets that hold the silencers on, like, this, like the, the, the claw-shaped brackets that hold uh, the, the silencers onto the engine, uh, that you can't get them off the engine without dropping the engine down. I don't know if that entails taking the engine out or whether you can drop the engine down slightly. I've got to find that out uh, to get them out. But at the moment, uh, it looks like I've got to take the engine out. So what I'm going to do today is start on the other side, um, do as much as I can, and then I need to, I need to stop trying to get rusty bolts out just with, with the gas. Um, I've got to use oxyacetylene. So whether I put the car back together, take it to the garage and do it, or, or try and get some oxyacetylene and do it here, which I haven't got, uh, I still have to decide. Uh, but today I'm going to, first of all, tidy up the, the garage because it's an absolute mess, and then, um, yeah, start on the left-hand side. So this is just a little insight into how finickety this job is. Um, this is the... The, the smaller of the two bolts holding on the muffler to the to the bracket under there and uh, it's rusted from the top and the bottom so there's just a little stub here left over so what I've been doing is using the Dremel to eat away at the the, uh, the well what was the nut here and then um, once that's gone just be able to bang it up from the bottom and then angle grind off the the, the head at the top so uh, it's taken quite a while to get this far uh, and um, yeah now I think I'm ready to, to bang that bolt up. So this is what I meant, um, so bashing the bolt up from the bottom having broken that nut off and getting the angle grinder just in there and taking off the top of that nut so you can see, so there you go, you can see it better now, so you can uh, just knock the, uh, the stub downwards through that shaft. Okay, so I've just got the last bolt out there. Um, only just managed to get the angle grinder in there like that, and it just fell out. So I've loosened off the bolts here on that on that bracket, and hopefully it should come out. Is that air line detached? Yeah. So, and there we are. Silencer number two is off finally. As I say, I'm not very popular with the neighbours here. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning and I've been angle grinding, but I've been trying to keep it short and sharp. <laughs> I've had no complaints yet. Okay, so this is what the car looks like at the moment. Second muffler is off. Um, heat shield is still on. On the other side, they're, they're rusted through there, but I think the last time I, I got under here, I put some kind of little bracket, the only thing I could reach <coughs> or, or, or fi find at the time was that little uh, bracket but um, just to hold the heat shield up there. But I will um, either replace these heat shields or uh, I bought some uh, stainless steel washers which will fit over the holes that have, have corroded through. Uh, I'll have to see, see what the, the, the money situation is like after this is all done. But uh, a word of warning, when I was heating up this bolt going through here, um, the, the, there's this gauze in here, which is uh, these things here, and it's totally logical, really, because uh, they've got oil in them, and that caught fire. So that caught fire when I was when I was uh, heating it up, and um, luckily I had some drinking water. I've got an extinguisher in the car, but um, I had some drinking water next to me, so I was able to douse it. But it's those things that which, which you don't always expect to happen uh, catch you unawares. So those gauzes in there. There's four of them, one, two, three, four, are very flammable. So if you're doing the same job as this and you think, oh, I'll just heat up that bolt, expect those to catch fire. Okay, so you can hear when I turn this up and down, all the debris in there, 
and I'm just going to see if I can get some of it out. Mm. Oh well, <laughs> none coming out really, but uh, you can certainly hear it in there. I dare say that is completely knackered. Second heat shield off, <clears throat> and you can actually see how how knackered this is. Um, I replaced the driver's side heat shield uh, about two years ago, I think. At the same time, I bought the other one, this one, but I never fitted it. So, yeah, good time to do it. Luckily, these bolts came out quite easily. Actually, I did uh, put some WD-40 on them, but didn't really need it. They came out fine. So it's funny. You know, it's some and some. The ones underneath, I suppose, because they 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 see more weather and they get more more corrosion. They 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 break, they snap off sometimes in the block. But the ones on the side, thankfully, uh, so far have uh, come off whole. Okay, so just removing the first of the catalytic converters. Um, I've disconnected the O2 sensors, left and right, there are four of them in total. And I've had to unfortunately break the, well I mean this, this bolt is completely, completely rusted here, so, so I had to cut this bracket off. But now I've got actually, get it past the bracket. Wait. So, there we are. Where's the other? Oh, I see, yeah, that's, that's on the other one. Okay, so, let me just cut that cable cord there. It's amazing how heavy everything is on this exhaust. It's no wonder people do sports exhaust upgrades and stuff because just taking those silencers off, just taking those silencers off was just unbelievable. They were, they were so heavy. And the replacements that I've got, the stainless steel, they're much, much lighter. But even these, you know, unbelievably. But these are, no movement in there at all. I'm gonna wash those out. I hope I haven't broken no two sensor here because a bit of scraping going on there and it actually dropped before I before I disconnected them unfortunately but um, but they don't look too bad I've got to drill these whole these bolts out here but uh, two look good two have come out and unfortunately the studs have remained in the uh, <laughs> in the header but uh, well you can't have it all. So I have to see if there's a way of testing those O2 sensors because that one has has pulled quite a bit, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just the cord. Just need to push that back over there. Um, otherwise, those are the bolts that have remained in there. You can see how I oops, how I started to drill that one out. But uh, 
yeah, I mean those those headers are really on there still. I'm gonna need the I'm gonna have to get the oxycetylene. So the idea, the plan is, is to focus the camera first, is to uh, drill those bolts out there uh, and do it the other side as well, and essentially fit everything back up. I don't I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put the old mufflers in or the or the new ones yet, but just to be able to put it back together, drive it down to the garage so you can get the oxyacetylene on those header bolts. But that's, that's the plan so far. Okay, so uh, interestingly enough, these um, studs on the left-hand side, which I expected to be worse than the right-hand side, um, came out far easier. So um, I'm just, just gonna knock this one more time. Gotta thread that O2 sensor through. Seems to so oops, that's still very hot. So that, whoops, where are we? That is the second catalytic converter. Also, no rattles in there at all, so that's fine too. So that's brilliant news. So it was these two bolts here that actually snapped off uh, when I was trying to undo the, the brackets, uh, the bracket that holds on the catalytic converter or the catalytic converters, it sort of spans across both. So uh, the nut that goes on the back of this is a permanent nut, it's welded to the back of this, this plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get these, these uh, stubs, these broken bolts out now.